Hi, it's Bill Cohen for Straight Circle Martial Arts. Today we're going to punch from the step. There are multiple ways to punch. One of the ones that's the most efficient, even though it's a little harder to learn, is from the step. What I mean by that is most people, what they do is they step when they punch, but they step and they stop. So what they do is they go like this, they grab the ground, and then they try to reestablish energy, which is slow and inefficient, and not particularly good when you're dealing with multiple opponents. Please subscribe. Hitting from the step is exactly what I said it is. I'm walking. So as I walk, my hand and my feet work together. So as I walk like this, they're together. Where people screw this up is they walk and they get behind themselves and they're late on the punch. So when I do this, what I want to do is I don't want to go like this. I don't want to step and then hit because you'll see how my hand gets behind me. What I'm trying to do is I want my hand to land and explode through this thing at the same time my core and my foot go through it. So if you watch this motion, it can be done from a hook, it can be done from the front, it doesn't matter. But what I'm trying to do is I'm walking through the hip. This is very important because a lot of times, if you envision, I know it's hard with the camera, there's someone behind me. If I stop to punch with this guy, I'm getting belted in the back of the head. But if I hit on the step, it allows me to continue to move and defend myself in multiple directions. So as I keep stepping, it allows me to hit and move. It makes me less of a vulnerable target. So how do you practice this? Very simple. Don't hit them hard. Just practice getting your hand out. And what I want to do is I want to just step like this and walk through them. If you watch, what I'm not doing is I'm not going foot and hand. If you see it, the foot hasn't touched until I finish the blow. Otherwise, all my energy is going into the floor. So what I want to do is I want to finish the blow and go through them. Same thing with this. If I throw a hook, I step through them. There's three ways to do this. There's distance where I need to take a full step. There's mid-distance where I do this off the front foot because I don't have enough room to make the big step. But the principle is the same. I just step with this foot and hit him. There's a third one where I'm very close and I can't take a full step. I just take this little quarter step. So if you watch it, as I'm here like this, this back foot just steps. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't go step then hit. If you watch, it goes bang like that. And that toe actually doesn't really touch until I hit it. So the energy is transferring through and then the foot lands. So, practice and simple. You use it on a bag or a person, doesn't matter. Learn to walk. And then what I like to do is sometimes take a step in the other direction. So I'm not facing him anymore, such as a multiple opponent type thing. And then I'll turn and I'll step again. And then I'm in another direction and I'll step again. So I'm always walking while I'm punching. It makes you much more mobile. It makes you much more circular. It's not a boxing match, right? I mean, I'm not doing this like this. I'm doing this because there may be a guy here and I have to contend with both of them. It's very fast, it's very efficient, and there's a lot of power on it because you're throwing your entire mass through them with no stop. Also, when you get better, I wouldn't recommend you to your partner, but there's, there's this explosion, there's this crack on it at the point of impact. So as I step, there's a bang just before I put my foot down. So now that you have the step, you also have the snap on it to give it more juice. 